Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. I just saw a jar with oil dripping on it. I don't know who that grace is for, but whilst you are sitting, I stretch my hands. In the name that is above all names, I just spoke about this Esther anointing and I saw a jar. That's why I raised that song. Father, I don't know how many people here who must drink of this grace, but I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus and by the spirit of faith. May that unction come upon your life now. May that grace come upon your life now. Please sit down. The proof of favor is not money. No. The proof of favor is the hearts of men. When God gives you the heart of men, you are really favored. Are we blessed? We must become, as I would always say, spiritual archaeologists, like the Magi, looking to the sky to discern signs. What is responsible for results? What is responsible for lifting? I spent my life searching these mysteries of the kingdom, trying to understand the patterns that connect to results. Not wanting to live my life shadow boxing and guessing. There has to be a way out. Please help those who start running now under the anointing. I just saw a vision and I just saw like, it's like light just falling on people. This is what I'm saying. Just help them. We'll continue the teaching, but I just saw this in the spirit. It's, it's, it's an impartation. God is bringing that grace. Please help them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. 18. 18 people. This is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup, my destiny, run it over, run it over. I continue to pray this, but I want you to bring this set of people out who are still preaching. There is an unction for speed that is coming on people right now. They will begin to run by the Spirit of God. The Lord is breaking circles. These are patterns. Bring them out. Speed to your feet, giving you acceleration in life, acceleration in destiny. Please help them in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them. I want to speak over their life. We are still teaching. You came to church. This is the house of God, the gates of heaven. I decree and declare speed. 
speed to destinies speed to men i shift you acceleration 10 years in one please believe it believe it believe it it says if you believe you will see the glory of god speed and acceleration to your life in the name of jesus the christ of god in the name of jesus the christ of god all the overflows outside following from any nation i decree and declare speed to your destiny speed to your destiny encounter that grace that shift men encounter that grace that can shift businesses speed to your christian experience pray in the spirit in one minute receive it for your life father in the name of jesus acceleration by the spirit for my destiny I will hasten my word. I will hasten my word. I will hasten my word to perform. I will hasten my word to perform. I will hasten my word. Give speed to my speakings. Give speed to my prophecies. For all those who are out and under the anointing, I declare the same way the Holy Ghost located you. I declare speed, speed with results. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Some of you are representing families. Some of you are representing ministries. You are representing businesses. May that grace speak for you. No power in existence will stop you from walking in this anointing. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Listen, speed is one of the dominion systems over time because the unit of destiny is time and everything that lacks time speed is more than progress speed dominion over time in the name of Jesus let it be we declared by the spirit of grace you came to church to encounter grace and we prophesy by the god of heaven just like the dear man of god minister nosa sang now your way is his way to act to, to bring speed to our lives everything standing your way not allowing you to experience speed i lift my hands to the god of our covenant and i declare it must clear out of the way right now for you it must clear out of the way now for you every enchantment every divination every covenant activities of familiar spirits sitting on your destiny i will not let you move in the name of jesus i move it for your sake i move it for your sake I move it for your sake. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Your name, hey, is your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your grace upon me, breathe. Just breathe your grace upon me, breathe. Your hand, my head is your name. I 
Hallelujah. Who is Jane? I'm hearing a name, Jane. Who is that? Jane. We'll be seated shortly. Jane. Hali Sane Shalam Brakatoska de Bariata. This person I'm seeing is like an elderly woman. No, this is not a young lady, but I'll pray for you. I will pray for you. But please come. Just a few minutes, we'll be back seated. Is God wasting your time? Sir, look at me. This man, look at me. The chains that hold the works of your hands, I bring judgment upon them now. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, I release you by the spirit of grace. Go and return with testimonies. Your life will so shift you will wonder and marvel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, ma? I hope you're not embarrassed that I'm calling you. In the name of Jesus, there is a name above all names. There is a name above all names. Madam, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I declare may grace come upon you and I release you by this, by this shout. In the name of Jesus, step into the realms of favor for you and for your family. For you and for your family. My dear, I remove that. I'm seeing something that looks like a crown, but it's not of God. I remove it from your head now. This lady, out of her life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hear the chains falling. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Abuja. Abuja here. Yes, Did you come alone? Yes, sir. Come. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Just calm down. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Two things. Number one, God is going to take something out of your stomach. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That demonic thing that is growing to become a fibroid, God wants to cause it now. Number two, I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing a woman, but I'm not seeing a face. This is something that has covered your glory. I want to pray for you. I use as a point of contact. If there is anyone here, the devil has covered your glory. You are among men that can give you visibility, but something is covering you. I bow my knees to the God of heaven and I tear that fell into pieces. I tear that fell into pieces. I tear... I tear that fell into pieces. Hallelujah. Let it be so for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who have come out, I decree and declare. For whatever reason you came out, let there be miracles for you supernatural miracles in jesus name what do you do sir huh businessman sir businessman i have a lawyer and gas firm sir the just i just asked you what you do i want to pray for you thank you sir i'm seeing you climb a ladder that breaks and brings you down look at me i don't know you all sir but i want to pray for you here god makes men he doesn't just bring made people he makes men stand up what will happen to you between now and August will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. I release that grace. Go back to the oil and gas sector with that grace. Go and excel. Shift systems and excel. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is God that causes men to advance. Nobody has the power in himself to advance. Please hear me. It is not within the power of men to move beyond certain points. Mama, the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Let Mama come. This is a whole family. I don't know what is it, but God is visiting this family. All of you come out. I'm seen by the Spirit. I don't know you. Are you alone, Ma? Look at me. Yes, I'm alone. Where are your children? One is in London. The other ones are in Abujai. Please shift. Let me talk to Mama. Mama. I want to pray for you shame and reproach i'm saying it in the open 
whatever wants to turn your children to become instruments of shame and reproach i stand by the god of heaven i cancel it right now i cancel it right now in the name of jesus number two mama you don't have any business with dead people coming to you in dreams while you are sleeping i declare in the name of jesus every covenant that connects you to the grave i'm using mama to pray for anyone here the voice of the grave is calling you or calling your loved ones you are seeing the faces of dead men in the name of jesus i break that connection forever i break that connection forever for the living and the dead have nothing in common i separate you by the blood of the eternal covenant who is deborah deborah i'm hearing a name deborah and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then what can stand today? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand today? Just let me two minutes, we are done. Two of you, the power of God is going to come on you. Eh? I'll pray for everybody, but I can imagine that there are so many Deborahs. You can just stand. I know all of you are Deborahs, but will just pray sometimes god just does these things but there are two of you right now as i'm speaking the angel of the lord is pouring oil on your head and the power of god is going to come upon you there are activations happening to two of you it's not something you can stand we're talking of the power of the holy spirit here two of you May the sound of reproach help her not be heard in your life again. That lady under the anointing, may the sound of reproach from you and your family not be heard anymore. I pray for all of you who have come out by this prophetic word. In the name of Jesus, go back and experience victory. Go back and experience victory. God who located you is also giving you a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you from? My sister. Where are you from? Huh? Kaduna Road. I come from Kaduna Road. From where? Kaduna Road. No, no, no. Where are you from? State from of Kogi origin. State, Kogi. I want to pray for you. That everything that is not the planting of God, huh? In the name, I'm not a prophet of doom. Don't be afraid. I decree and declare. Anything that wants to bring you down and bring your family to the grave, I cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out, may the Lord grant you victory. In Jesus' name. Please go back to your seat rejoicing very quickly. Hallelujah. I don't know if it's the mother or the person who is here. Your son has written jam jam seven times no admission they try and try and nothing happens i don't know if the individual is here or i just want to break that that demonic hold right now and then we'll sit down and listen number two well this this may not be something i'll say publicly but we have to pray i'm seeing a politician in serious trouble we have to pray we have to pray the spirit of the waster in the name of jesus provided you are under this influence we declare that for the sake of the grace and the mercy of god everything that wants to cause the sword you do not live by the sword and you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus christ the cause of the waster will follow them in the name of jesus who is the christ of god the cause of the waster will follow them in the name of jesus can we sit down to continue please sit down god bless you
I rebuke that spirit, that lady. Let me pray for her. The lady on green there. Yeah. I command that devil, let her go now. Release her destiny, give her peace in Jesus' name. God bless you. You can take them, including this one now, in Jesus' name. Now, please pay attention. We're discussing something here. Spiritual patterns guarantee the glory of God. Every time his glory is revealed, it is proof that his patterns have been kept. Number two, compliance to spiritual patterns guarantees sustainable results. Sustainable results. Matthew chapter 7, please. Give us verse 24. To 27 Matthew chapter 7 therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine the Bible says and doeth them I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock reading to 27 and the rain descended listen carefully and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house everything that happened to the other fellow building on sand happened to this same man the Bible says and it fell not why for it was was founded upon a rock 26 and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand last verse and the rain descended the floods came the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell here's what the Bible says and great was the fall of it You must trust God for grace to get out of these balloon results up today down tomorrow are we together now the Bible declares that the path of the just can be as a shining light when it is not built by patterns it will not last I assure you no matter how flamboyant it looks don't trust it because of the aesthetics trust it because of the patterns that when the rain comes when the wind blows, it will stand because it was built upon the rock. Ministry, let it be built upon patterns. There are many people, for instance, who start ministry just because they heard the voice of God. <laughs> that looks very spiritual, but it's a dangerous motivation for ministry. God told me, go and start ministry. That's wonderful. So why did you start the ministry? I know that God told me, I am sending you to heal the sick. I am sending you to be an evangelist. The voice of God must submit to the patterns for church growth. Otherwise, you will be surprised that even though it is God sending you, you will suffer as if it's not, his voice is not in your life. Are we together? There are many sincere people who are under all kinds of limitations in life because they exalted prophecy they exalted the speakings of spirits they exalted the advices of men even well-intentioned people above the patterns of god hear me if you never hear any audible voice and all you do is submit to the integrity of scripture you will have the result that is greater than one who hears every day and does not walk in the patterns Listen to what I'm telling you. Africa is a place of a lot of spirituality delving now into superstition. Our strength is based on the numerous noise of voices, sincere and insincere, all together. None of them, let me tell you, no matter how well-meaning, sustains the ability to keep a man. You must subscribe to the patterns. No matter who prophesies or blesses your business, it does not sustain the ability to produce results transgenerationally until in addition to that voice and that prophecy, you subscribe to the pattern that makes for longevity of anything. Are we together? Patterns are powerful. sustainable results fruits that abide you want to build something that lasts please look up you want to be in ministry or in business or in whatever endeavor you are involved in for a very long time 
leaders are intentional people they are men of mastery nobody wins the olympic by mistake no patterns when you have the patterns you cannot only perpetuate the results you can reproduce them anywhere regardless it is true it is true patterns give you sustainability look up please and predictability to your result when you are up today and down tomorrow favor today disfavor tomorrow laughing today smiling tomorrow there's too much amateurism and guess what in your work you have to back up and begin to study the patterns that bring predictability to your life are we together for instance using business people as a case study there are many wealthy and blessed people today who rose to the ranks of, of financial abundance through knowledge they can reproduce and perpetuate their results regardless the geographic region regardless the policies surrounding them because they built by light there are others who respectfully speaking maybe just looted from the treasury even though they have it they can't perpetuate it they can't reproduce it because it did not come through understanding hallelujah god is giving you predictability because you see when you succeed usually men will believe you are lucky <laughs> but when your results become sustained there's no more luck there you don't become sustainably successful by luck gentiles can come to your light but their kings only come to the brightness of your rising. This is true for any aspect of life. Politics and governance, business, ministry, career, family, whatever it is. Provided you hold the keys, the patterns that are responsible for that outcome. I had the privilege of watching God's servant. I couldn't make it and I was watching the 40th anniversary of the living faith and while i heard him preach at a point quite honestly i was not just listening to the sermon again i was saying i remember or i can imagine when the ministry was say 10 or 15 years probably he said after 40 years we'll still be doing this i'm sure there are people who said you are not sure but now after 40 years when i looked at papa copeland in his 80s speaking with such conviction i said patterns are dangerously powerful they look like they will fail but you will keep working with them for a long time and they will not fail the simplicity of patterns is why they are not trusted patterns are deceptfully simple if it be thou bid me come come he said and such a complicated issue like walking on water suddenly becomes child's play because someone learned to obey the master spiritual patterns give you predictability and sustainability let me tell you this 30 years if christ tarries 40 years if christ tarries you will still be standing and waxing strong and moving forward because you are not moving yourself forward there is an agency a combination of the spirit and understanding moving you forward fear your result if it just happened but if it happened by patterns rest leads me to the third point spiritual patterns give us peace and confidence it's one thing to have results but it's another thing to trust and to be secured in the results that you have. Peace and confidence. Isaiah 33 and verse 6, it says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. When you have wisdom, when you have knowledge, it gives you stability. You no longer are afraid of your results. Why? Because the some of you here are chefs some of you here are wonderful people when it has to do with cooking and the rest if you ask me now as anointed as i am you bring me ingredients and say quickly you are giving 30 minutes or two hours cook something 
you have to sign that whatever I cook, you must eat it. So that I don't know, I'm, I'm sure that I'm not wasting my time. Are we together? I'll have to pray, except if the Holy Ghost just appears and says, add this. After 10 minutes, add this. It's not that bad, but I think it's not good too. I'm not, <laughs> are we together? Yeah. Why? It's not because the food cannot be made. There is a lot of guessing. You'll be surprised that salt may be the first thing I'll add. <laughs> and then add any other thing, mix them. I'll just mix whatever the menu says and close it. And say, Lord, I unto you, I commit this meal. But there are some of you here, even if we say cook for all of us, even if it's for 20,000 people, all you need is space and time. You will surprise us like you are cooking for one person because you are cooking out of knowledge. You are not afraid of what you are doing. The number does not matter. The formula is the same. Are you seeing that now? Yes. So you are no longer afraid of your results. Listen, God is helping you to take away fear. The moment you are afraid, can I deliver? Can I not deliver? That is a report card. Go back and become a master. Masters don't fear. They, they are saturated by the ordinances that keep them on top. They are secured by it. When you say, God, help me, he does not say, ah, you are about to disgrace my name. We are talking of the ancient of days. He now says, Claire, let me see that challenge. God, I've never seen it. He said, it doesn't matter. I'm creator. I can take it out of the way. Mastery. We must fade away fear from our lives fear of producing results god blesses your business you make great gain and you are afraid because you are sure it will not last the moment you are sure it's not it will not last you are right it won't last i'm called into ministry what is the guarantee that i'll still be blessing people what is the guarantee that if i stand on the crusade ground the sick will be healed what's the guarantee that if i speak God is directing me and saying, I'm blessing people. I'm imparting someone. Ah, let me not announce it. Oh, what if I now say, your name is John and nobody comes out? What if I now say, God is giving speed and everybody is looking at you? No. It is a call for mastery. You go back and learn the ways of the Spirit. How can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind? How can you run when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? His power at work in you, changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the Spirit. Don't you know, in his hands are the keys to eternal life. It's a little here, a little there, and then your day will dawn. He's at work in you, changing everything in obedience to Christ. He's the Holy Ghost, he's the Holy Ghost. He's the spirit of the living God. He's the Holy Ghost, the scepter of the King of Kings. He's the Holy Ghost, the seal of the age to come. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Rearranging everything in obedience to Christ. You are building everything in obedience to Christ. Please sit down. We have to pray. Peace and confidence. Leviticus 26 and verse 6. A scripture I found that blessed me years ago. Please read with me if you are a Christian. Ready? One to read. And I will give you peace in the land. Say amen. amen. Let's keep reading. And ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. 
and I will read evil beasts out of the land. Neither shall the sword go through your land. Peace. Why? Job told us the secret that the Lord would deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. He said, because you have a covenant with the stones. Do you know what that means? That every manipulation of witchcraft depends on the elements of creation to work. But I have a covenant with them. So when you use them against me, they will not work. They were authorized to support me and not fight me. Whether you use water, whether you use the stones, whether you use the rocks, whether you use animals, there is a covenant between me and creation that no enchantment and no divination can stand so i find rest i can sleep with my eyes closed please sit down thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence, the destruction, help them please, that wasted in noonday. There are all kinds of evils sweeping across our world. You get up in the morning, you are stretching outside, you just receive something you have no business receiving. You return back into a life of tragedies. Someone shout no way. And confidence many believers are afraid we pray out of fear we walk out of fear how am I sure that if I lose this job there is a way out how am I sure my destiny will be fine now that I'm 40 or 50 or 60 how am I sure they are not going to diagnose me with maybe kidney or prostrate fine rest I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. Truly I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you God is giving us peace and rest it used to be elderly people who have high blood pressure right now you see teenagers moving around talking as if they are 50 years someone who is 19 speaking foolishly what is wrong and he's not even aware may that spirit be far from your life far from your life in the name of Jesus Christ worry there are people who sleep, they have to take pills that are as full as my hand. In their, their teens, their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, it's almost killing you. Find peace. Mastery of the patterns of God. Can, you can secure his presence. You can know he's there. Waiting for a feeling is nonsense. You can know he's there. I will be still. Know you are God. We will be still and know you are God. But, Apostle, while I'm being still, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man, how shall these things be? How shall my life be lifted? Are you sure God will not disappoint me? Should I truly put all my eggs in one basket? If it is the divine patterns of God, you can die believing him, I assure you. But before you make boast, be sure that you are walking by his patterns. Because if you are not walking by his patterns, shame is imminent. But if by his patterns, then you can be sure that his divine power can give men all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Listen to me. God in this season is going to be challenging many of you to do a lot of things. Ambitious things. Daring things. He's going to give you instructions. You may do what you have never done in your life before. Find rest. Trust the patterns. 
even if you do not trust yourself for some of you god will speak to you and say all right by next month start that building and the only thing you have is 10 bags of cement and a land you are still negotiating and god will say you go and get one trailer of sharp sand pour it there let the devil see it that the hand of zerubbabel let me tell you this god can only become omega if you allow him become alpha if you refuse i initiate that dimension lord you must be alpha then he's guaranteed to be omega write this down the bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns the bible is a coded compend bible is a coded compendium listen carefully the bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns that lead to various kinds and various levels of extraordinary results i was teaching the school of ministry students i think it was yesterday and we were examining pneumatology and i was telling them that the bible just because every kingdom has secrets are we in agreement every kingdom has secrets and the secrets are hidden listen carefully they can hide the treasures of the kingdom somewhere there can be coded doors some of the doors are even hidden in dimensions it's not a physical door you invoke you enchant things and then the doors appear they are hidden in dimensions planes of reality the bible this book you see is more than a book with information it is a compendium of coded secrets from the old testament to the new testament the gospels the epistles down till revelation it is coded and full of mysteries that control different levels of results just reading them intellectually may not grant you access to all of those coded information the bible says let me show you a scripture that will bless you very quickly and then we'll pray isaiah 29 please from verse 11 and 12 isaiah 29 verse 11 and 12 very quickly and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of what a book koinonia read with me a book that is sealed just because it is opened does not mean it is opened you can open your bible but it is still sealed which men deliver to one who is educated saying read this i pray and he said i cannot why for it is sealed next verse it says and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i'm not even educated in the first place what kind of a book is that that whether you are educated or not it doesn't mean anything as far as decoding the mysteries are there your life not prophetically directly is written in this book you are seeing believe me this is not just a prophetic statement it's a literal statement but until god opens your eyes you will find something that was written in the bible that has not been fulfilled by anybody and you will know you are the one it was written for not just to apply it prophetically directly but until god opens your eyes you will not see the messianic prophecy was written hundreds of years before jesus came many people saw it and they thought they were the ones to fulfill it but when jesus came in luke chapter 4 the bible says he was given the scroll of Isaiah for to read when he opened it he said the spirit of the lord is upon me when he was done saying it he said today this scripture is fulfilled that means i am the one this was written about you will be surprised to know how many things were written about you and your family until god connects the dots psalm 25 and verse 14 here it is the secret of the lord the secret of the lord god has secrets believers hear me god has secrets not everything is in plain sight the secret of the lord is with them 
that fear him the hebrew word yirat adonai the spirit of reverence is with them that fear him and he will show them listen there is a dimension of spiritual truth that cannot be studied you are initiated like occultism into that body of truth you cannot find it on your own it's the spirit of grace that will draw your hands and take you to that inner chamber of the spirit and you will see mysteries it says open down my eyes that i may behold behold wondrous things from out of thy law until then i'll just be reading the law but when my eyes are open then i will now see hallelujah matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 jesus was teaching and he said because it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom please look up these patterns as coded as they are they were encapsulated into a body of knowledge the bible calls mysteries please shout it after me say mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom what are they the hidden code of operation these are the body of truth that help believers to excel in light the body of truth allocated for my victory and your victory they are called mysteries happy is a man that finds them happy is the man who God causes to approach him when you approach him he grants you access to these mysteries when you find it they are life to those who find them your life becomes episodes of wonder just when you think you have exhausted a dimension you will see another one unfolding Ephesians chapter 3 Let's do a long reading and then we'll pray. There was a man in scripture called Paul. He later would become the apostle of the Lamb. This was a man who was learned. He was a Pharisee. And then when he began to communicate certain depths of the spirit, Paul noticed that every time as he sojourned mentoring and building the church, even the very apostles of the Lamb were concerned. Are you sure about these things you are teaching and paul said listen before i start my lecture i need for you to know the basis give it to us verse one for this cause i paul the prisoner of jesus christ for you gentiles reading to verse 10 if ye have learned of the dispensation of the grace of god which was which is given me to you word that means for your sake a measure of grace was given how that by revelation you see it there he made known unto me the mystery a body of truth was given to me as an apostle for the sake of a generation he's explaining now that as complicated as my thoughts are you need to understand that these are not fabrications of a pharisee's intelligence i was drawn like being initiated into a room and i was given a body of truth for a generation as I wrote a four in few words verse 4 it says whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ 5 which in other ages here it is was not made known unto the sons of men Wow these dimensions were not revealed to anyone it says as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit verse 6 that the gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of the promise in christ by the gospel seven whereof i was made a minister according to the gift are you seeing it there the gift of the grace of god given unto me by the effectual working of his power eight unto me who i am lest than the least of the saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ two more verses 
and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things by Christ what do we do with these mysteries verse 10 to the intent this is why these mysteries are given there are arrogant principalities and powers that will not respect God nor the saints. So this mystery was given as a way of punishing the powers of darkness and forcing them to acknowledge the superiority of Christ to the intent that now to the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom when those minis, those mysteries manifest we call them the wisdom of god but listen to me they are a body of truth i'm praying that you will believe what i'm telling you and you will be surprised to see the way your life will change mysteries when you hold them like a bunch of keys you can find rest knowing that your life must become exceptional all you need to do is begin to travel when you stand before a door you check and remember the holy ghost is with you there what mystery opens that door and he says open this twice the mystery that opens this door is there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty you get to a door and the mystery that opens it is that you sow both bread and seed seed is for eating bread is for sowing but there are certain doors that both bread and seed together is what opens them that you can cast your bread before the waters and in this case you will find it after many days then you open that door you can get to another door he says i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise by doing that i will be saved from my enemy so when it is clear that defeat is imminent, you will back up like the days of Jehoshaphat. Write your prayer request on the ground and dance like a madman while people are sleeping over something you know has been concluded. And while that is happening, ah, the God of heaven is turning things around. Yeah, is turning things around. At midnight, while the rest were sleeping, Paul and Silas said, you wasted your time by closing this door. You would have chained me in the days of my ignorance. But we are not just here as empty apostles. We know what to do. When they prayed, they saw angels. They said, get out of my way. I need God himself to come here. The Bible says they sang. They sang aloud. Because their singing aloud was putting pressure on his integrity. Suddenly, the one who sits on the throne, they sang it so beautifully. And even unto the Lamb, he arose and said, Nonsense, let me see the gate that is covering you. And he scattered it into pieces. Let me show you peace and rest that comes through master mastery. The jailer took knife to kill himself. He said, don't rush. This is a result we can reproduce again. There's no point killing yourself. When Jesus resurrected, he did not rush out of the grave. No. No, there's no need rushing. I rose up by myself. What am I running for? And he came out with honor and dignity. I can do it again if need be. I am the resurrection and the life. Are you ready to pray I thought we'll have time so that I will share with you in my entire life I hope that we'll take it in some other series we didn't finish covering what I intended we'll cover tonight but there are nine of these mysteries that the Lord gave to me nine for an unbeatable spiritual life some of them whilst I learned them as I listened to our fathers of faith I had them saying the same thing expressing it in different ways nine when you find these keys 
you will stand and play life like you are playing a chess go this way go that way believe me i apologize if it sounds like pride behind results that work are these mysteries they are the defense systems of masters you stand and they become a garrison to you irrefutable backed up by the jealousy of god himself you can take it to any nation and take it anywhere people will think you are making noise till the result humbles them hear me we make our boast in the lord and on the strength of the mysteries we have held and these mysteries they are not for individuals they are for the body to be dispensed so that on the strength of these mysteries you can turn back and go rejoicing knowing that life can be at your command we command results intentionally i hope please do not miss any one of these i hope that god will grant grace and will touch all nine of them the mysteries that control fearful results in this life every student prepares for exams but it's the result that the marker when the lecturer marks they place it on the board you will come and see what you wrote there is that true how many of you remember people who will make a lot of noise after exam the answer is five the answer is ten whereas someone will just keep quiet as if he doesn't know anything that's the person you will see getting 95 97 and someone is making noise nonsense from morning till night and you find out that you will get seven or twelve god is bringing us to that place of mastery noiseless victory it is the results that will make the noise are you ready to pray prayer point number one lord i am tired of shadow boxing around my destiny i want you to bring me to a place of quintessence a place of mastery spiritually financially and otherwise please lift your voice and pray we came to pray a few minutes of prayer Are you praying? He that strives for mastery is not proud, except he strives lawfully. The mysteries of the kingdom, controlling results, spiritual patterns, leading men to predictable outcomes. Hallelujah. Look up. Please, we are going to pray. As we prepare to begin to feast on these mysteries in the coming weeks, you are going to pray and say, Lord, open my eyes understanding is a real miracle i'm telling you then open here their understanding that they might understand scripture are you ready to pray lord open my eyes to see may i see what my father did not see may i see what those who have gone ahead of me did not see in the name of jesus please pray please pray in the name of jesus the christ of god Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
scripture says he that told you have asked for nothing the seed for receiving is asking he said ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full listen you're going to pray one serious prayer father the door that stands before me now what is the mystery that opens it reveal it to me please lift your voice and pray. every door standing before us there is a mystery and there is a pattern in ministry the door of the next level for your spiritual life show me show me by your mercy the door to signs and wonders the door to increase and multiplication the door to influence and visibility the door to grace and power from on high hallelujah Praise the Lord. In the ministry of William Branham, of blessed memory, the Lord gave him a code and said, there is an angel that I will send to walk with you. And that every time his prophetic gift was to be opened and unlocked, he would have to wait until that angel came. And it was recorded that many times they would wait for as long as an hour. They will sing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. They will be angry. He will stand there and say, I can do nothing. I was instructed that it is the coming of this angel that opens up my prophetic fountain. And later in the middle of nowhere, he will just say, wow, the angel has come. And within minutes, the time lag will be well paid for, justifiably paid for by the level of divine unction. For something, it was his hair not even his hands protect your hair as a nazarene it's not just something that rolls around your hair there is a mystery attached to it for the young lad and that crusade ground the mystery was hidden in five loaf and two fish whoever was careless with that five loaf and two fish will not only be stopping a young man from eating he will be stopping five thousand people from having healthy meals for many of you, God will give you certain secrets that for the next six months, your secret is your prayer life. Not just random as believers. Pray from 12 to 1. There is something I want to do. It's a personalized dealing. You miss out on that unique instruction, you'll be surprised how powerless you will be. Are we together? For Archbishop Benson, either whole side was said that a time came, God gave him an instruction that 80% of his earnings would have to go was a sacrifice. But living of 20% made him so wealthy, he was so blessed, he was so visible, he went around the world 53 times. It is the divine strategy that is given to us that provides for victory. When you stand before Jericho, don't guess how to bring it down. Jericho is a fearful city. Five chariots can stand on the fence. You need a strategy. Because even if Jericho falls down, you still cannot pass. It will still become another fence. You need a formula. Sometimes it may not make sense. You will go around six times. Foolishly so. And then you go around seven times on the seventh day. And you will be asked to shout for some of you. And it is in that shout that Jericho falls down. There are some of you, God would tell you to go for a three days dry fasting. Dry means dry. And it's in that fasting he will reveal to you the ordinances of the next level of your life. For some of you, God will give you very dangerous instructions. Some of you, God will say for the next one week, gather all your family members who are praying every day. Whoever is sleeping should sleep in the parlor. They carry the person and bring the person out. And you are praying. That is the instruction. For some of you, your strategy is hold your peace and allow me fight. Step out of the way. Your worry is interrupting my battle. Just step back and allow me be the one who stands for you.
Lord, what is the strategy on our way from Egypt leaving this place? I will come to you as a pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. If you don't see fire by night, don't move. If you don't see cloud by day, don't move. I am not there. Don't guess. Saul, you are a king, but you are not a prophet. Don't offer sacrifices. And the people pressured Saul. They said, look, Samuel is wasting our time. We can't be here. Are you not a king? And out of pressure, he offered the sacrifices to God or not to an idol. As soon as he was done, Samuel came and said, Saul, you have done foolishly. What did you do? You would have allowed me come and God would have established your throne forever. But now for violating patterns, the throne is taken away from you. God can ask you to carry a seed and give a man of God. Because you don't want it to leave your house. You carried it and gave your child. You did not obey. That's, that's disobedience. Listen, I'm saying this because as you leave this place, God will not leave you without a witness. You will hear him and he will speak to you. He will give you instructions. He will tell you things. Some of them may be ego stinging, but they contain in them the mysteries of the kingdom. If you have the childlike approach to listen, you will be surprised what will happen to you. Are we blessed? For some of you, God is going to give you instructions. Dust your CV and keep it. Have soft copies and keep it. But I'm not applying for anything. Just do what I'm asking you to do. A gentleman got a job by sending a text by mistake to a general. He felt like dying because he knew that he had abused the privilege. And the general called back. He was afraid. He said, who is this? I'm, so, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I was to send it to somebody. He said, no, no problem. Come and meet me in my office. That became his job. That was not a mistake. He was the Holy Ghost directing him to his place of destiny don't choose who will help you allow god choose them you choose who will help you, you you will be punished by the vacillations of men's emotion i will help you today tomorrow they'll say i can't remember telling you that look unto god they looked unto him and their faces were lightened the bible says we have to close let me pray for you father in the name of jesus christ we say amen to everything you are doing. Amen. 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 To our lifting and to our rising. Amen. Amen. As a family of faith. We are receiving that prophetic word. Let it be so for us, oh God. To visibility, to influence, to favor, to speed, to high level spirituality, to fresh unction. You are receiving, you are not just singing. Testimonies come this week to multiply opportunities to open doors to the salvation of our loved ones. We say amen to exemption from kidnappers, to exemption from the, the scorching tongues of men. For the last time, as a family of faith. I want to make an altar call very quickly. Please, let's keep standing.
Just help those under the anointing. Our time is gone. We've said amen to your salvation already. We've agreed with God that tonight is your night of salvation. You are in this place under the sound of my voice. All the overflows right down to the basement outside following from whatever nation across the continents of the earth. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I need to make it right with Jesus. For some of you, you are saying, I need restoration in my spiritual life. Doesn't matter what category, you're here and then outside, please rush, come stand before me here. It will be my joy and pleasure to lead you to Jesus. Let's celebrate them as they come. Win that war. Do not be afraid. You're coming before Jesus. All overflows. Move to your projector stand. Move to your screens. Move to your screens. Those following from your homes, your offices, wherever. I just want you to stand in agreement. God bless you. Come. Come. We're going to sing that song one more time. Amen to your salvation. Amen to a new season in your life. Koinonia, is this how you celebrate salvation? Sing how. Brothers and sisters, thank you. I salute you for the courage to make this decision. The Bible declares that whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. You say, ye must be born again. This is a family of faith. Doesn't matter how things have been, God is ready to give you a new beginning. Now for those of you in front, all of you following me online and then those at the overflows i like you to lift your right hand please let them come please let them come very quickly lift your right hand say after me very clearly audibly hear yourself saying it you're not reciting a poem jesus is here say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you came you died for me you were raised for my justification right now according to the authority of scripture i receive eternal life into my spirit by declaring that you are my lord you are my savior you are my king i declare that the power of sin of satan of the grave of hell is broken over my life from today i am a child of god i move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you we present to you jesus the ones you died for it's an honor to lift them to you as trophies thanking you for your work on the cross i pray that the grace that keeps may that grace keep you the grace that lifts may that grace lift you in the name of jesus the son of the living god you go from glory to glory from grace to grace i commend you to the ministry of the word i commend you to the ministry of the spirit i declare you will never be the same from today and forever in the name of jesus christ you are blessed and you remain blessed forever now very quickly there's a gentleman smiling at you with a placard all of you please move to my right which is your left and they'll take you and just just have a few information and pray with you and you'll be back to your seat god bless you let's celebrate them koinonia hallelujah please Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes. 
and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.